Okay, so welcome back to our sequence of videos showing how can we use Energy Plus. In this video, you're going to learn how to model building geometry elements. So basically, I'm going to show you modeling this very basic uh, building here. There is a living room, a bedroom, and a bathroom. And what you want to to think about is uh, we model a building using uh, representation forms. For example, an environment or a space is represented as a thermal zone, and walls, uh, ceilings, and floors are represented through surfaces, and windows and doors are represented as subsurfaces. So we have two forms of representing, like uh, drawing these surfaces, uh, subsurfaces, and spaces in in Energy Plus. These two form, forms are using 3D point coordinates or using a plugin or a support tool, for example, uh, Open Studio plugin for SketchUp. So you can draw, literally draw, you uh, using SketchUp. This, um, these models. But today I'm going to show you how can we do using 3D point coordinates, okay? So basically this is the floor plan of the building that we want to, to model. This is the living room and kitchen, the bedroom and the bathroom. And this is the measurements, okay? So to do so, I'm going to take the minimal file that we used in the last class, in the last video, I'm going to rename it to geometry. And here I'm going to open, and this is IDF editor. And here in IDF editor, I'm going to press Ctrl L to shrink down to all elements. And here, going back to our model, the first thing we want to do is to set up the thermal zones for each environment. So the thermal zones is uh, re the representation of the environment. So to set up the thermal zone, let's uh, set up three thermal zones then, like one for representing the living room, one for representing the bedroom, and one for representing the bathroom. And I want to put the starting point, like the origin point for each thermal zone. So here in Energy Plus, I'm going to find a class called zones. I can look in for here thermal zones and surfaces, there is a class called zone, and I'm going to include three zones here, three objects. The first is the living room, the second is the bedroom, and the third one is the bathroom. And here, Energy Plus asks me what is the coordinates of origin uh, X, Y, and Z for each thermal zone. So I'm going to see here in my model, Okay, for the living room is 0, 0, 0, for the bedroom is 4, 1.5 and 0, and the bathroom 4, 0, 0. So here is 0, 0, 0, 4, 1.5, 0, and 4, 0, 0, 4, 0, 0. Yeah, that's correct. Okay, so... Basically, this is it. We leave the rest as auto calculate or default and save it. Now, what we want is to including the surfaces and subsurfaces. So uh, we can do that by calculating the coordinates of each surfaces. So here I can display to you the coordinates of each corner of these rooms here. So let's start drawing this. Uh, this wall here, it's the north wall, okay, of the living room. So how we can do that, we can see this wall here. So this is the inside, we are seeing this wall from the inside, and this is the outside, okay? So we want to include these coordinates of these vertices. So let's go back here to Energy Plus and let's find the class Building Surface Detail. And let's include a new object call and let's call it this name here wall north of thermal zone one which is the living room right so wall north living room 
it's the it's the first wall of the living room which surface type is it it's a wall so everything that is highlighted as orange here we need to fill it fill it up for energy plus to calculate it it's a required field okay uh, so what is construction name we don't have any construction set yet so i leave it blank it's going to be seeing the next video what's the zone name the thermal zone is living room what's outside boundary condition it's uh, outdoors so this uh, wall is true it's orientated for outdoors and it is sun exposed and wind exposed okay so for the x y and z coordinates for each vertex i just can simply fill it up according to these coordinates here remember you can use a clock a counter clock size uh, way okay but you can also change here in global geometric rules so here we can set what is the starting vertex position it's the upper left corner and what is the direction that we are modeling? So counterclockwise. And what is the coordinate system? It's word or relative. It can be both, one of the one. So let's go back to building surface detail and let's start from the left superior, upper left corner here. So the upper left corner will be this one, 0, 4, 3, and let's include it here, 0, 4, 3. And following the counterclockwise direction, the next one is 0, 4, 0. So 0, 4, 0. The next one, 4, 4, 0. 4, 4, 0. And the last one, 4, 4, 3. The last one, 4, 4, 3. Okay, let's save it. And we included the first wall in our model. Basically, what you have to do so far is uh, so forth is to include the rest of the walls using the same logic. Okay, here I propose a nomenclature, a way of uh, naming these walls, and it's always good to know to where these walls are orientated and which thermals on they belong. Okay, you can do by yourself this and uh, and repeating. And here, I'm also going to show you how can we draw windows. So windows, we follow the same rule, but we have a step in the between, which is we have to to assign on which surface this window is. So let's go to Energy Plus. Let's find a class called Fenestration Surface Detail. In this class, fenestration, fenestration surface detail, let's include a new object and call window living room. This window is a window, so which type of subsurface is? This is a window, it's not a door, it's not a glass door, it's a window. The construction is still not set, so let's leave it a blank. And the building surface name is the surface where this window is inserted on. So this is the wall north living room, okay? Because in our model, this is the surface where our window is inserted. So this is this, the wall living north living room. And let's go to insert the vertex coordinates. <clears throat> and the vertex coordinates follow the same rule as the wall coordinates and we can start by the upper left corner, which is the coordinates are 1, 4, 2. So 1, 4, 2. The second one is 1, 4, 1. 1, 4, 1. The third is 3, 4, 1. 3, 4, 1. And the last one is 3, 4, 2. 3, 4, 2. Yeah, this is it. Now we have a wall and a window model in our model.